Hey, 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 everybody. It's Sarah here from Salt Lake. Today, I'm going to be talking about things you need to know before you travel to Cancun. Now, I wish I had seen a video like this before we traveled because it would have changed quite a few things that we did when we were there. So I figured it is a perfect video to make to help people out when they are traveling, especially if you've never traveled to Cancun before. Uh, this was our first time I went with my daughter, Olivia, and yeah, she wanted to go somewhere, you know, we hadn't been before and Cancun came out on top of where to go. So yeah, these are from my, my and my daughter's point of view, things that would have been helpful to know before we went. So I'm gonna be going over in this video a few topics. There's gonna be money, clothing, activities, the COVID, um, you know, special things you had to do because of COVID. So we traveled in August, 2021. Um, so it probably will change. I don't know, you know, how it's going to change or anything, but this is just specific to when we traveled. So check out the information before you go as to what restrictions there are. Also personal security, shopping and accommodation. Okay, so the first one I feel is the biggest one, which is money. Because in Cancun, they use pesos. And obviously I'm coming from Salt Lake, so I'm converting this uh, American dollars to pesos. I did a little reading online and it said that it is better to pay and to especially tip in pesos. So I converted uh, a chunk of change into from American dollars into pesos so I could have that um, for tipping and all those fun stuff. A lot of stuff we just use credit cards um, but for stuff I needed cash I had pesos. I took very little amount of American dollars because it said not to use American dollars. So first thing, conversion of uh, American dollar to peso. So I do actually have some pesos here. So I've got 20, uh, 50, 100 and a 200. Okay, so what you do is to work out the conversion quickly in your head before you tip somebody is take the zero away, you have two. Then you half that, which is one. So 20 peso dollars is one American dollar. So that would mean that you take the zero away. Oh, no, the zero away, so you have 20, then you half it. So this is $10 and the $50, here it is, is effectively $2.50 American dollars. So you may think you have a lot of money because of all of the bills, but it's not that much. So bear in mind, if you're tipping uh, 20, uh, 20 pesos, it's $1 American. One thing I also found out once we had gotten there and had spoken to a few of the locals and what have you is that they actually prefer American dollars. So take American dollars, take plenty of American dollars, like $1 bills, $5 bills, 20s, whatever it is, take plenty of American dollars because they prefer to be tipped in American dollars. Now this is people that are doing the driving the bus or your bus tours or the people that are you know what are they called the guides on the tour on the bus they prefer american dollars uh, places you go will give you a price in american dollars and then a price in pesos so if you have cash cash is king so whatever you read out there now just remember this is august 2021 i'm talking about things could change drastically i don't know but whatever you uh, do, take plenty of American dollars because that will make it so much easier. That will make it better for tipping. Um, and yeah, it just worked. Pretty much everywhere we went would have taken American cash over pesos. Okay, so that's the money side of things, which we kind of bummed out in. Um, but now you know, and we know next time what we're going to be doing clothing now obviously here in Salt Lake in Utah we have a very dry um, 
almost zero humidity. Completely different environment to Cancun. It was, it was actually quite pleasant. Obviously, I'm originally from New Zealand, so I'm used to the humidity. Um, but one thing I noticed, uh, I was fine, but a lot of people with what they were wearing wasn't as good. Okay, one second. Okay, when you go to the theme parks and that sort of thing. So we did uh, the Iskaret Park, we did Chichen Itza, the pyramids and the keynote, which is a big swimming hole that's supposed to revitalize you and all that sort of stuff. We did explore Coagle, which was a nighttime um, theme park. Well, we went in the nighttime, you can go during the day as well. And we also swam with the turtles uh, along the reefs and saw a shipwreck. So pretty much all of those activities, well, actually all of those activities, you get wet. Now, I'm not one for changing all of the time, in and out of togs, that sort of thing. I just wore leggings the whole time uh, because it doesn't matter if they get wet, you're not going to get the chafing like a lot of people were getting and they dry pretty quickly. Leggings and like the dry fit t-shirts are perfect because you can just wear them all day, you're not going to get any rashes and they dry super quick and it's just really convenient and there's so many different styles out there so leggings is the way to go. For guys, I would suggest wearing like leggings or whatever the guys call them underneath your shorts and have the, the light fabric shorts or like the tog shorts. But if you only wear like togs, then you're probably going to get the chafing. And we saw a lot of people walking around, you know, doing that bunny walk when they get <laughs> chafing on their thighs. So. Make sure you have the right clothes in all of these parks. And even if you don't get wet, you're going to be sweating. Okay, so yeah, leggings is the way to go. Also shoes, comfortable, comfortable shoes are a must. I wouldn't wear jandals or flip flops or whatever you want to call it. And I definitely wouldn't recommend walking around in barefoot because it can get really hot. And obviously then the ground can get really hot, apart from standing on stones and who knows what else. So I wore uh, sandals the pretty much the whole time, which was really easy because it didn't matter if they got wet, I could carry on wearing them and I didn't have any issues. So make sure you try out your shoes, getting wet and wearing them for a period of time before taking them because if you're gonna get blisters, then it's gonna make uh, like the rest of that day and the rest of your trip a little bit painful with blisters. Shoes are important. I also had some sneakers that I wore when I knew we were just doing a lot more walking. Um, like when we did the temple, uh, the, the pyramid, I mean, I wore my sneakers because uh, we only got wet when we did get into swimming clothes and you didn't have shoes on. That is the clothing side of things. Now, activities. I've explained kind of the activities that we did. And obviously you're going to be seeing photos throughout this video. They're just going to just going to have them going through. But one thing I did do is in most of the theme parks, you can purchase a photograph packet and then you go up to these special points. You wave your wristband over the, I don't know, the scanner. And then you look at the camera and it takes your photo. You can take as many photos as you want and yeah it's a lot of fun you don't have to worry about taking photos but i do also recommend having a waterproof camera um yeah a waterproof camera would be uh, a good way to go you can get covers for your camera um they have them at the theme parks that you can buy there they're not any more expensive than you would buy them probably on amazon maybe a, maybe a one or two dollars more but the convenience they're right there if you have any issues it's right there so they have those all around the different theme parks. Uh, if you want to get a waterproof camera, a waterproof case for your phone to go in. Now, okay, one of the activities, I'm just going to talk about this one, was at the um, Escarat Park, the first park we went to. Uh, we did the uh, Adrenaline, which was on a, a jet boat. And I wasn't too sure if I was going to like it. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it because I have, uh, you know, head problems. I suffer from migraines and I have neck issues as well. 
and I didn't think I wanted to be throwing around in a boat and I was a little bit anxious about doing it. And, you know, I wouldn't have been too upset if we didn't make it there on time, but we did. And I got to tell you, I loved it. It was amazing. I mean, these photos that you're seeing, the boat literally submerges almost and the water just kind of goes over you. But it was so fun. I wasn't expecting it at all to be that fun um, and to just, yeah, it was great. So I would recommend that. Uh, I was fine. I didn't have any neck or back problems. So yeah, if you can, that is a really good ride to do. And they also can take your photo on the boat, as you can see in the photos, those ones that they provided. You just download them onto your computer when you get back to where you live and you've got them there. So, okay. We've done the theme parks, we've done a few things, talked about money, clothing, so security. Now, it was just me and my daughter traveling and from my point of view and for thinking about our safety, not knowing anyone else there, we did everything in a group. So we did all of our bookings, we got picked up from our uh, resort we were staying at and we got dropped off at our resort. So we were always with a group. We were always, you know, didn't have any issues whatsoever. But we did go into town one day um, because I wanted to talk about my phone because it had stopped working at the Apple store. So we went in on Sunday and yes, the Apple store and I think every other store we saw there is open on Sunday. So we got there, went to the Apple store. They couldn't figure it uh, couldn't sort out my phone until three days and we would be back here in Salt Lake by then so we just decided to do a little bit of souvenir shopping and they had like markets going on I don't know if it happens all the day or all day or just on Sunday but we were just going around and you know bought a few souvenirs and what have you and then my daughter got approached by this guy and my daughter at the time is 19 uh, she looks like an adult um, but regardless the fact he approached her and not me and said, hey, do you want to try some cocaine? Do you want to have some, uh, what are the other drugs? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of them. Uh, marijuana, heroin, uh, different prescription medications, cocaine, anything you can think of, he was offering to sell it to her. And she's like, no, no, I don't want any of that. And he's like, oh, come on, come to my van. I have free samples. Uh, obviously she said no and eventually he left her alone so this guy's name was Hector and he referred to himself as Hector the Connector which is kind of catchy but you know pretty bad just bear in mind that it's right there on the streets they're not hiding it they're not you know they'll just walk up to you and ask you point blank you want to try some heroin also the police over there drive around with their lights going all the time same with ambulances so you never know if they're trying to pull someone over or what have you uh, they're always on they also have trucks that drive around with the military uh standing on the backs with their guns so don't be alarmed when you see that it's not that something terrible is happening they just drive around like that all the time okay so security that is important covid now we're still kind of in the middle of the pandemic, um, but with all the tours we did, we wore masks. Everyone was uh, you know, respectful of the wearing masks, keeping sanitized. The buses were all sanitized. You were sprayed before you went in the buses and all that sort of stuff. So the mask protocol was, um, everyone was following those guidelines. Everyone was being safe. Obviously, you didn't need to wear masks when you were doing water activities and that sort of thing, but I didn't feel any worries or concerns with wearing my mask or seeing other people being disrespectful of the masks or anything like that. Also, if you don't have one or you lose yours, they sell them there. Yes, again, they're not overly expensive. They're the same as you would pay in any other store. You can get some really cool colored ones. So that's covering COVID. Obviously, we had to be tested prior to coming back to America. I think it was up to three days before coming back, we had to uh, get a negative COVID test. And uh, I'm assuming our resort we stayed at did it there. And I'm assuming a lot of the other ones will do them at their facility as well. So you don't have to go off your uh, 
or campus or whatever you want to call it to get the COVID testing done. And then it's just emailed to you. Nice, simple, easy process. Okay, shopping. I kind of have covered a little bit about shopping. I didn't feel that things were overly priced in any of the, like the activities, the theme parks or anything like that. It seemed pretty reasonable. Again, if you wanted to buy a drink, then you can pay with American dollars as opposed to pesos. We did uh, like the packages that we brought included meals at the uh, resorts. So we had like a buffet lunch going, the food was really nice. Uh, obviously you don't get the food yourself, there's servers that serve you because of the COVID um, protocols. But yeah, everything was really nice. Um, we really enjoyed all the food that we had in Cancun uh, at our resort while we were out. Um, we bought a couple of sweet things when we were doing one of our tours and we stopped at like a little market. Uh, that was really yummy. It was like a crate and it was filled with, I think, banana, uh, cream cheese and I can't remember, maybe walnuts. I don't know, but it was really, really nice. So that's shopping. Um, again, even at the markets and the stalls and stuff like that, they will take American dollars. There's a big market, okay? This is one thing I kind of almost forgot about. If you go into the Chicha Eats, Itza, I know I'm not saying it correctly, but where the pyramids are, they have markets in there. Now, we were told on the bus by our um, guide, do not pay with credit card because there are people in there that will take your credit card information and run your bank dry. So whatever you do, do not pay with a credit card at any of those stores or in there whatsoever. Take cash. You can have American cash or you can have pesos. Again, American is best. You get the best price when you're paying in American dollars. And they had huge amounts of stuff. Now, we were also told it is kind of knockoff stuff. So don't think that you're buying the pure, mm, there's like a, a special gem. I can't remember what it's called, but we did buy some at the other place. So don't think that you're getting uh, genuine products. Uh, there is a few, a few of the stalls there where I saw the guys making wood things. So that's pretty cool to get handmade. But a lot of the other things are knockoffs but they're priced appropriately and they look just the same. So yeah, you can get some really good deals in those markets, some big blankets and tapestries. Uh, they had these really cool like lion and tiger heads that look really awesome. But me being me, I was worried about um, getting my money taken away from me and didn't take anything except a water bottle. Um, I wish I had because we would have brought more things. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. So make sure you take cash with you. Do not use your credit card. Okay, now the last thing, accommodation. So we went, my daughter found a deal through Facebook. You know, they're always popping up, especially if you type in a location, you start getting bombarded with information about what to do and what to buy and all that sort of stuff. So where we stayed was at the Vedanta, which was in Playa de Carmen, and it was a huge resort, like huge. There was a golf course. I think there's like 10 restaurants. There was effectively, I think, five or six different hotel buildings in the complex. So there was like, like the elite and then the regular and then the family and then the, you know, more budgety kind of thing. So that was really cool. And around to get anywhere in there, you take these little uh, golf carts, but they're driven by staff. You don't drive them and they call them trains. They drive you around to different stops because it's huge. So, uh, oh, and they've got so many pools. I don't know how many pools they have, um, how many bars, but yeah, it's, it was really fancy and really liked it there. The staff was amazing. Um, but yeah, obviously there's a lot of places to stay. So look at reviews, look at the photos, um, you know, put out there on Facebook to anybody you know who's been, where they would recommend staying. Uh, because there's a lot of really good resorts and they're not overly priced. And check out all the resorts, well, not all of them because there are so many, 
but you know what you're looking for and having you can have it all inclusive which is including food and drinks um, if you want somewhere that's in the, a really nice part of the beach or you're not too fast you want more pools privacy that sort of thing there are so many options in so many different locations and pretty much most if not all of the tour groups have buses that pick up from all of the hotels around so Oh, there's the baba, she's come to say hello. So yeah, accommodation, we loved where we were staying. Um, had a really great time through the whole thing. Wish I had American dollars or more American dollars would have really changed our experience, I feel. Just having that ability to, to you know, tip with American dollars to, to have more because I've only had a certain amount of pesos and then it was all on credit card after that. So. Make sure you have American dollars, you have comfortable clothing, um, sunblock if you're going to be taking it. I mean, I don't necessarily recommend it because the stuff you can buy there, again, is not overly priced and it's the eco stuff, so it's not going to damage any of the plant life or, or animals that are in the water because it's, you know, it's all natural as opposed to has the chemicals in it. Comfortable shoes, a hat, obviously, sunglasses, um, and just yeah really have a good time it was so much fun i will definitely be going back um, because there's a lot of things that obviously we didn't do but yeah if you have any questions about any of what i have covered i know it's a lot but it is from my point of view stuff that i would have liked to have known before going it would have helped our, our trip enjoyability we had a great time anyhow but yeah so if you have any questions about anything i've covered or maybe something i haven't covered and you just want to you know get some clarification i am here to help if i can if i have the answers i will definitely share them with you but have a fantastic day enjoy whatever it is you are doing and i will speak to you guys soon bye